name's Alex, I'm 17, and I live in Texas. My mom left after I was born, and I was raised by my alcoholic father. My father isn't really my favorite person. He abused me when I was younger. He called me names, yelled at me, pushed me around all the time. <laughs> Living around him made me more aggressive. It also gave me bad anger issues. My name's Courtney. I'm 16 and I live in Texas. At first I thought it was all unintended, an accident. He didn't mean it. He was just having a bad day. And was it really unintended? I... I don't know. We really loved each other. He was amazing, but he had a few problems. He was very possessive, always asking where I've been, who I was with. If I didn't get a clear answer, he'd get really frustrated. We had little arguments over the darnest things. Are you cheating on me? No. You promise. Why would I? I don't know. I just get the feeling that you're cheating on me. I'm not. Okay. Are you sure? I'm certain. Certain. Absolutely certain. And then it happened. He hit me. And what did you do after that happened? I just stood there looking shocked. I remember crying and him hugging me saying, I'm sorry, over and over again, and saying, you brought this upon yourself. And was he right? At that moment, I thought so. What's that? Um. But it all happened again, and this time worse. I decided that I couldn't keep it all in and decided to tell my best friend, Ali. She listened carefully and tried giving me advice. She told me to tell an adult, but I refused. I told her I could handle it. Could you handle it? The next day, I was going to walk home from school, but Alex came up to me and told me he'd take me to his place. I refused. He started getting mad and I just stood there. A minute later, one of my school counselors came out. A cop was with him. The cop took him inside, leaving me to talk with my counselor. So then Ali told the counselor. I'm actually really glad she did. I don't know what would have happened if I had not mentioned it to her. She's my best friend. I didn't want her to be in such a dangerous environment. If I didn't do anything, and something bad actually did happen, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Abuse is a serious issue. It affects thousands of people every single day. About 22% of children, teens, and adults commit suicide over abuse. Abuse also gives children, ages 4 through 20, ideas about how they treat other people in the future. Help us stop abuse. When you see a kid being rough to another, stop them and talk to them. If you witness someone struggling with abuse, please tell someone. Your choice matters.